Hello, hello. It's your girl, Truck and Beauty, coming to you with another video. So, I kind of wanted to give like a little update on life for me. And also just tell you like how great God has been to me. I'm closing my curtains, I just parked for the night. It's actually morning, about six o'clock in the morning. And um, I'm about to shut down and chill. Um, I have some exciting news. Transition I've been going through. Um, excuse me for being over here, trying to get these curtains closed. Um, so something big happened in my life. And I want to just encourage someone else who, you know, might be able to relate about what has happened for me and kind of just, you know, let you know. I don't know what people may be going through, but let you know that, you know, whatever it is, you're not alone and just stay focused on what it is you're trying to do and you never know the outcome. So for me, something um tragic happened my family to one of my um family members and it was something that required me to not be on the road i need to take some time off the road and i need to be home for a while um and i remember when that happened i got that news it was devastating i got the news on a sunday and i had a load that left out um before day on monday and I literally did not sleep um, much of, no, I didn't sleep at all, basically, because I got the news and I spent some time uh, with my grandfather that day. And it, it wasn't anything in my family right there that was in town. It was my family that had a little distance. And at that time, I had some more family from out of state in town. So I couldn't just go as I need to go right that second. I had to kind of wait. So it happened on a Sunday. And... I didn't sleep that evening or that night, and um, I remember when I went home to sleep, my AC went out. This is in August. It's now, what is this? It's now November, so this happened in August. My AC went out, so I wound up having to go back to my grandfather's house to stay at his house that afternoon and night so I can sleep, and I was just so disturbed. I really didn't get any sleep still. Um, and I was just, my mind was just racing. I remember I talked to a friend of mine. He tried to tell me not to take my load. Um, I talked to my best friend. And my best friend was telling me somebody wanted to talk to me. Somebody who she had been out of contact with for years. Had got back in contact with her. And asked her about me. Which is so weird. I thought that he wanted to talk to me. And because I didn't know him. I didn't know anything about him. And somebody who she know. And he asked about me he asked about truck drivers and he was like she was like well, my best friend's a truck driver okay and so i had so much going on she's like she called me she said this guy wants to talk to you he wants me to three-way you and talk to you and i was like about what she's like well i don't really know but he said he knows where you work at and he knows what you go through he, she said Is, isn't it a dot you work for and i was like yeah you know this she said it's a blue truck, right? And I said, yeah, you know this. She said, yeah, he wants to talk to you. And I'm like, well, not now. You know, I ain't slept all day. I got it load I need to take out tonight. And she even tried to persuade me not to take the load out. I was like, well, let me just get a little sleep and I'll be fine. It's only right up the road. Um, and then, you know, I'll be fine. I don't recommend anyone to do that. Like, don't, please, don't do what I did. If you're not resting, you're not sleeping, don't get on the road. I wasn't like, I was wired and alert, but my mind was not there. And we all know all kind of stuff can happen when your mind is not there. Anyways, I wound up blowing the guy off and not talking to him because I was dealing with a lot and I really needed to get some rest that time. So I did rest that evening. Um, didn't sleep, but I did rest um, as best as I could. And then I... Uh, I took my low, and then that day, that next day, my best friend called me again, and she three-way this guy in, and he started telling me about this opportunity that um, I could buy my own truck. And I was like, okay, yeah, whatever. 
not really hearing him. By this time, it was two. It was Monday. It was Monday. Yeah, it was Monday. And what I didn't realize is that just yesterday, like that day before, on Sunday afternoon, when I went back home for my, my AC went out, I was literally praying for an opportunity where I can like make up my own schedule because the stuff had happened to my family. I needed to be at home with my family. I didn't want to have to wait for approval or anybody to say, yes, you can or cannot do what you need to do. That really irks me. That really bothers me to have to wait for someone else to tell me what I can or cannot do in my life. That bothers me a lot. So, I am... Um, I was praying for something different, something I could just do my own thing with. And then the next day, this guy who I never met calls my best friend and had my best friend call me on three way and start telling about this opportunity. And when he told me about it, I heard him, but I didn't really get excited to really hear him. And so I heard, but I didn't hear. And then before the phone conversation was over and I realized like, wait a second, this was, this lines up with my prayer that I just prayed yesterday. Like, just yesterday. Like, okay, Lord, I, I see you. I see you moving and moving rather quickly. All right. So, at this point, it's Monday. By the time Monday, Tuesday. Tuesday, I had a different load, and I had to go somewhere where the, the customer, I went to a U.S. food. And it's U.S. food, they have a crazy kind of breakdown. And it was large wood, small wood pallets for the breakdown. Um, but they were holding my my breakdown Taha sheet. They were holding it. They kept me sitting there for like two hours just to give me the Taha sheet. Like I could have been about done, you know what I'm saying? Like a good chunk into my load by now breaking it down. But y'all been sitting here like all day, you know, all morning with the Taha sheet. I can't break it down without a Taha sheet because U.S. food has a very particular kind of Taha they want you to use for their breakdowns. So I was kind of mad about that. And so I text my supervisor and I asked her, I was like, listen, is it okay if I get a lumper for this load? Because they're holding me. Like they're holding me bad. I've been sitting here for two hours and I haven't even made, hit the dock yet. And she said, yeah, that's fine. She said, I completely know what they're doing. Um, they hold you like that for a reason. So they can get lumpers. Um, so I wanted to get a lumper and you guys, they gave me the slowest lumper guy there was. They gave me the new guy. And so I told them, I was like, listen, I got other appointments. So can I get a lumper and we work it together? And they're like, no, either our lumper have to do all the work or you have to do all the work. Well, I don't know the tie highs. Y'all not getting the tie high sheet. I don't know if it's large with small with. So, okay, make it fast and let's let your guy do it. Because at least he, you know, he work here. He's familiar with the large with small wood and stuff like that. And they're like, okay, cool, bet. They gave me the new guy who was slow and did not know what he was doing. So, while that was going on, I sat in my truck waiting, 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 waiting for them to get done and break it down. And I wound up applying online um, on my phone to this company that this guy was telling me about as an owner-operator to purchase a truck. And after I applied, I called him and told him, hey, I applied. He's like, okay. And I was it. I didn't hear anything. At that point, it was Tuesday. Then come Wednesday, I got my, um, I had last of my appointments. Like, I wound up missing the rest of my appointments the rest of that day because U.S. food was that slow. So, I wound up getting to the rest of my appointments. I didn't have no pickups. Um, and I had already talked to my supervisor, and she said, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely work around the situation. They're going to let me be home. But when I say let me be home, they let me have home for the actual, they let me have home like X amount of hours, like one day's worth of of time home and I really need it more than that just because you know if something tragic happened you don't get over it in a day um, and so I just really need to be home and that kind of bothered me one day was crazy but Wednesday morning after I got all my stuff off my trailer I I want to go in straight back like the last customer I got to I told the receiver like listen I had some tragic things happen to my family this is my load to take me home do you mind if I go ahead and get the rest of this off my trailer? He's like, oh, okay, cool. He pulled everything off my trailer. It's a stop that I didn't have to break anything down. And I went straight home. Um, I went home. I didn't put no diesel in the truck when I got there. I went home and I I got in my car and I hightailed out. And I drove an additional hour from where I stayed to the rest of my family house. And Thursday was the day that these things that took place then had to be kind of like, 
more stuff had to be taken care of. So I tried to help out my family on Wednesday afternoon when I got there. Thursday. Thursday, I wound up getting a phone call um, from the company. And they were saying, they were from Mississippi. And they were saying that at the time they were in Savannah, Georgia. And they would like to meet me for an interview. And I didn't get the I didn't get the phone call nor the voice message, but I did get a text. They actually texted me as well, and they told me they were there. And it was Thursday. They were going to be there till Sunday. They wanted to know if I can come down to Savannah for an interview. I was like, Yeah, sure, but it won't be today. You know, I have to try this weekend. See if I can do it then. Um, but I don't know why something changed my mind. But throughout the day, something just changed my mind. And I wound up going that same day, which I'm glad I did because then the brake caliber of my car wound up going out. Tragic. So, yeah, um, I went then and I had an interview. And before I got done my interview, one of the guys was pulling their laptops out and opened up their laptops to hire me right on the spot. I still had my clothes on from the, the family event that I, you know, was going to. I was late to the interview. Like, they had actually stopped interviews that day. And I told myself, listen, I can make it today, but it won't be before 5 p.m. And they were like, okay, fine, what time will you get here? And I was like, uh, more like 7. They are like, okay, cool, we'll meet you then. So, because I got there late, they wound up um, meeting me late. And I met, like, a lot of the company um, people. Because they were trying to get, to get together and go to dinner. And I kind of just came in, like, a bad time for what they were trying to do. Um, so, yeah. Then, I didn't hear anything back for a little while. The next thing I know, I get a phone call and saying that they wanted to offer me a job. And um, they, were, they asked if I wanted to lease the truck from them or if I wanted to buy a truck directly. And I was like, I want to buy a truck directly. If I'm going to run something, I'm going you know, to go ahead and get a head start. I don't want anything used. I want to go ahead and buy something so I can build a bank up and you know, run it like that. They're like, okay, bet. When I tell y'all. God opened up some doors for me to get another job. Um, I'm now an owner operator. And what you see me in right now is my Peterbilt. Um, I got it. The color I want, the kind I want, everything. And it's like, I, I mean, I've never had a brand new vehicle before. But when God say he'll provide exceedingly and abundantly above all things, uh yeah i couldn't more than you could imagine i would never have thought this is where i would be now i've only been in the game a year and a half and let me tell you this i technically don't even qualify for the job that i have on paper on paper they want you to have a minimum of two years when i applied for the job i was like in a year and 12 months no excuse me a year and two months <laughs> excuse my dyslexiness a year and two months of experience when I, you know, got the job, got my, you know, started getting selling and stuff, I was, I was like at a year and six months. I'm still six months shy of what I need to qualify. But when I tell you favor ain't fair, and when God qualify you, you, you qualified, it's yours. Just walk into it. I really didn't know what I was walking into. It just lined, the way it lined up, I didn't question it. And I was just like, okay, go with it. Go with it. Go, just do it. Just do what you gotta do. Just go with it. And so, while I'm doing it, you guys, you know I've been in, a, in an automatic for the past year. And I didn't want to go into automatic when I went to Dot Foods. It's just all Dot had was automatics. And if I wanted a job, which I did want a job, I had to drive an automatic. So, I learned how to hold a steering wheel nothing else and just not tell anyone about it. <laughs> because I personally didn't want to be an automatic. But this has been an eye-opener for me. Um, when I bought this truck, I bought a 13-speed. But I've never driven a 13 speed before in my life. I've never even been on a 13 speed. I've only driven a 10 speed and automatic. It's all I've ever driven. So I had to teach myself how to drive a 13 speed. 10 speed, 13 speed, not much of a difference, right? Oh, yeah, gear pattern. That gearbox is definitely different. And I did not realize that the gear pattern was different when I jumped in the truck to start driving. So, you know, it took a little time to work that out. So. I just want to encourage you, like, whatever it is that you're doing or want to do, trying to do, pray about it and let God work it out. 
I suggest you pray about it before you start devil and dabbling into it. And instead of asking to bless something that, you know, probably ain't for you anyhow, pray about it and ask him to lead you to it. Like, let, let him show you where he wants you to be. And I'm not saying it's a brag because I got a truck. Um, I'm saying it's a brag because I never expected to have a truck like this. Like, the way it happened, as soon as it happened, um, I, I didn't plan for this. I just... I prayed for it, stuff happened, and it just immediately started lining up. It just lined straight up. Um, everything worked out because I, I don't, I mean, the money situation worked out, the opportunity situation worked out, the travel situation worked out, everything worked out. And I'm just like, Lord, <laughs> won't he do it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so. I just want to encourage you. Just pray about whatever it is you're going through. And let God work it out. Some people will say, oh, for her birthday, she bought a truck. Because my birthday was last month. And I started this last month. Um, yeah, this is November. Yeah. One month now. One month. And, and that was not like time in the truck. I've been doing this on my own now for what a week maybe and it's just so crazy it's so crazy but I'm walking into it every day so I just want to encourage somebody no matter what it is you're going through how tough how rough it might be pray about it let God work it out and walk into the favor it's your girl, Truck and Beauty. Um, now that I have this more permanent um, place and such, I'm still not settled in the way I want to be. There are things I'm still trying to get together and such. Um, but I will be doing more videos now. I plan to be doing more videos. Um, I plan to be doing more makeup videos because that's really what I want to do. And everything else just comes with the territory. But... Um, that is really what I want to do. So, we'll see. Uh, I do plan to do more videos now, but we'll definitely have to see how things go at time and such like that. But I just want to keep you, know, keep you encouraged, let you know what's going on with me. And we're going to just go from there. Um, I love y'all. Stay encouraged. Keep shooting for the stars. Keep living your dreams. And know that life is definitely meant to enjoy you know, do your growth and holla. Talk to you next time.